Vas a know for me, love. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the vlog. I took a Benadryl yesterday. I didn't realize that I had allergies until I started taking allergy medication. And so I would take Benadryl to like help me go to sleep, but it would like clear out my sinuses. I was like overproducing saliva, that stopped. There were just so many uh, benefits. I have to get one of my articles done. Tomorrow I have another article that I need to get done. And then the day after that, I have an, a third article. So I'll be writing for the next three, three days. I also, have to somehow fit in a film review. Oh my gosh, I have to watch a film today. There is a film that includes a Navajo filmmaker. You probably haven't heard of her, Shandine Tome. She helped to work on this documentary. It tells the story of a puberty ceremony for a different tribe. It's actually not a Navajo puberty ceremony, which I was really happy to see because I feel like our ceremony is always being documented. I'm really excited to learn what other tribes do for their puberty ceremonies, so I'm really excited to watch that documentary this morning. I just want everybody to know this. I have lost weight. I have lost weight, and it doesn't look that way in my vlogs, so I just want everyone to know that I have lost weight, okay? I'm very proud of that because I have worked really hard <laughs> to be more physically active and to eat healthier. And it just sucks because like in my videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, does my face actually look like that? Like what's going on? Like I really thought that I was out here like losing weight, but it doesn't really look like that in my videos. But I need to get over it. I just want everyone to know that your girl is skinny. <laughs> I have once again fallen in love with Fenty Beauty. For a while, I didn't really like the foundation. They had reformulated the color on the shade that I used and it was way too yellow. I got this one here and it's the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation in 320. And it is amazing. I absolutely love this foundation. It's the only foundation that I wear now and it's hydrating. It's not drying. It looks natural. I use about one pump for my whole face. I have really changed the way that I do makeup and I'm so excited to share that with y'all because I mostly use cream products now. I absolutely love the undertones of this foundation and it matches my skin tone very well. And that's why I appreciate this foundation. Also, it just sits so beautifully on the skin. What I use to contour now is actually Morphe 2 Hide and Peak Concealer. These are the areas where I contour. I don't know what to say. It's just like neck, head. I don't have a chin. <laughs> so I try to uh, create one with this little line underneath there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love a bright under eye. It looks so good on me. This is how I'm highlighting these days. I know. Shocking. The brush that I use is actually the Rare Beauty foundation brush and it has this, it looks like a, almost like a diamond and I really love that shape for blending out my concealer. I use the Fit Me Concealer in Light 15. This is, I think, the second to the lightest shade that they have in this line. This is what I use to brighten my under eyes. I really feel like I should share this with all the folks who watch my videos. If you wear makeup, please do not compare yourselves to other people who do makeup. Don't feel like it's something that you can't do because I've been wearing makeup since I was... 13, maybe 14 years old is when I started wearing eyeliner and doing my eyelashes and then I started wearing like eyeshadow and so 
I don't want you to get discouraged because your makeup is not looking the way that other people's makeup looks, the way that my makeup looks. This is thousands of hours probably at this point. So please do not feel bad wherever you are in your journey because you will get better. It took me a long time to get to this point and I'm so happy that I've been able to find a routine that feels very comfortable for me, that I enjoy doing, and it gets me excited about makeup again. So I'm really excited to just be trying different techniques and doing different things. You know, makeup is fun and makeup is for everyone. One of the things that I've been doing is I've been using this Jaclyn Hill lipstick as blush right here, here, and then right here and here, and a little bit at the bottom of my nose. And it looks fabulous, let me show you. This is where I place the lipstick, and it just adds a nice bit of color to the face. This one you can really have a heavy hand with. You don't really need to be careful with this one, just because it is just so blendable and so sheer that you can easily just like blend it out. For my eyebrows, I actually just use this Morphe 2 Soft Black Brow Crush Tinted Brow Gel. So this is what I use for my eyebrows now. I just like run it through it because if there's one thing your girl has, it's eyebrows. This is the final makeup look. I did go in and add some powder bronzer, some powder blush, and I did my eyeliner. So and this is the look. I look so pretty. I at some point want to wear this hat, but I don't know when or where. That's a no for me. That's a no for me, love. I just did an interview with Shandine Tome, who is a Navajo filmmaker. She recently helped to make this film called A Long Line of Ladies with this Academy Award winning director. I will put her name here. And the documentary is so beautiful. The film follows the coming of age ceremony for the Karak people and they are located in California and it's just a really beautiful coming of age documentary. It is such an incredible film and in the first like two, three minutes of the film, like I was in tears because it reminded me so much of my Kinalta and being able to have that ceremony and to think back on it and to draw strength and power and resiliency from my ceremony. I always go back to this memory of me being 11 years old and it's like 10, 20 degrees outside. It's at the end of November, it's freezing. I have now gone through an entire night, you know, staying up, listening to the prayers that were sung over me. My hair is wet, soaking wet, and I'm running a mile towards the east. And it's so cold outside that there are icicles forming in my hair and I just remember I was running up and it was getting really difficult and I was just like I don't know if I'm going to be able to run this entire thing and I didn't think I could uh, but I kept pushing and I was like I have to run hard and I have to run fast and so as I was coming on my way back I pushed through and I was just running as hard as I could back to the Hogan. And I think of that moment often and the strength that I had in that moment, even though I was so tired, even though I was so exhausted, you know, I had worked so hard all week, I had done so much and I had stayed up all night and it was just a really meaningful moment for me. And so to be able to watch this film, Long Line of Ladies, and to meet Ati, who is 
the main character in the film and to talk with her and to encourage her to also, you know, go into filmmaking because we need indigenous filmmakers. And I think that it would be so beautiful for her to like have this experience with a documentary and then to then go into filmmaking, I think would be really beautiful. I came here to the Driscoll Hotel. It's haunted by the way. I actually contemplated like whether or not I wanted to like get a room there so I could like go ghost hunting. <laughs> it is very creepy in there. So there's three indigenous women, three young indigenous, oh babe, <laughs> I'm not young anymore. In this room in Texas, there's, stars on the floor it looks like a flag and then there's like all of these scenes of like the frontier and all of these like white cowboys and all of these herds of cows and i was sitting there and i was like wow how ironic to have three indigenous women sitting in here talking about this coming of age ceremony and like reclaiming indigenous history and indigenous culture and really pushing back against colonization through reclaiming our culture. And so I just I just found that completely ironic. <laughs> Babes. Love it. Okay, I better go. I I know they tell you not to like hang out in parking structures. I've been here for 4 minutes now. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye.